हेलो पीपल वेलकम वन एंड ऑल टू जो जोस लर्निंग क्लब Hello guys, I'm back again. So in this module, I'll be teaching on indices and standard form. As in my all tutorial videos and lectures, you can see I explain through examples. So let's start this video through also an example. So let's take a number five thousand. So I take a five thousand, and I'm going to find all the lowest common factors of the number five thousand. So let's start with two. Now I reduce it to two thousand five hundred. Again times two, so one two five zero. Again two, so six twenty five. And again here five times, so one twenty five. Again five times twenty five. Five, five, one. So what are the factors of five thousand? Two times two times two. Five times five times five. So these numbers we can group together, and write it as there are three numbers, right? Two, two to the two to the power of three times five to the power of four. So these powers three and four are called indices or index numbers. So the index numbers are nothing but the raised to power which is written for a number, and the number which is written in the base. This is known as a base, and these numbers. Two and five are here the base numbers. And what is a power? When a number is raised to an integer, then we can say it as a power number. So, for example, two raised to four, or five raised to seven, ten raised to fifty-one. These are all examples of power numbers. Or you can say that any number when an integer is in the integer is at the index, then we can say these numbers as a power number. Or when an index is value one, so for any number a, when the power is raised to one, it is nothing but it's the same value a itself. So a raised to one is a. So any number raised to its same power is same as that number itself. So here, any number raised to that power is the same number. And when when the index is one by two, so now it is a fraction, right? So it becomes root power. Root, sorry. So, for example, when the index is one by two, we can say it as a square root. Or when the index is one by three, we can say it as a cube root. So, this is actually a representation of a root. So, for example, the square roots we can actually any roots we can we have to represent it like this. So, this is a root form, and this is an example of a square root. Square root of two. And another example of any number is, for example, five to the raised power of one by three. Then you can write it as three five. So this is actually nothing but it is same as pi raised to one by three. So that's all about roots. And now let's discuss what are the values we get after the roots. For example, I'm taking a number a square. So Which is nothing but a into a, and uh, a square is same as one by two. Okay, so you know that. So I will teach you on the next step topic on law of indices. So it is same as a. But is this a only number? No, there is a plus or minus with it. Actually, the answer can be plus or minus a. Why? Because any number. Uh, when a positive number and a positive number is added, you get the same number. Or when a negative number with a negative number, even then you get the positive number. I'll show you with an example of root four. Here root four is there, and this is nothing but two the whole square, right? So you can write it as two. But again, minus two the whole square. This is also two. That's why we are using here plus or minus two. So even if it when a when a root is there, always the, if it is a even number, then you have to take both the cases plus and minus. For example, root of sixteen, it will always come as plus or minus four, or fourth root of sixteen, which is nothing but plus or minus two. 
okay that's all about square roots and what is reciprocal reciprocal is nothing but that is the number one divided by the base number so let's show, let me show you an example for it for but first we'll write the formula so any number raised to minus one is a one by a so that's what what is a a is the base and in the minus one is the index so any number raised to minus one is nothing but it is the number one divided by the base number so that's all for the topic on lecture on uh, indices and standard form and now we will discuss on some laws of indices these are the basic laws which can be applied when you want to calculate something using indices so this rule this law of indices are very important and you have to use it while doing calculations in indices so let's go on that there are six laws of indices and let's start now directly with the first law then two numbers having the same base let's see they are having the same base right x raised to 8 and x raised to b they are having both the same base when two numbers having the same base then their indices values are added for example when you take the value of 2 square times 2 raised to 3 these in these numbers you can see their base numbers are of same value when the base numbers are same the law of indices say that you can add the so it is same as nothing but 2 raised to 5. I hope it's clear. And the next one is when two numbers having the same base is divided, then their index values are subtracted. For example, let's take a number 2 raised to 5 divided by 2 raised to 4. In this case, as from law of indices, their indices value, index values are subtracted. So the value would be 2 raised to 1, which is nothing but 2. I hope it's clear. And the next one would be 2 to the power of 5 raised to 2. So when a number is raised to a power and it is further raised to another power, then their index values are multiplied. So that's what it is written over here a into b. We can do the same here. So the answer for this would be 2 raised to 10. And the next one, it's also very important when on any number, when it is raised to the power of 0, it is equal to 1. So 2 raised to 0 would be 1 or 15 raised to 0, that is also equal to 1. So any number, when it is raised to the power of 0, it is 1. And the next one, so when you have a negative reciprocal, right? When you have a negative reciprocal, that means a, a number with a negative res, uh, a number raised to a negative power, okay? Then it is nothing but it is same as 1 divided by the x raised to a or for example, if a, a number 3 raised to minus 4 is there, it's a negative reciprocal. Then you can write it as 1 by 3 raised to 4. So this is what meant by the fifth law of indices. And the last one, when for a number the index value index value is a fraction then the denominator the b will be the will be the root and the a the numerator will be the power part for that so check it b root of x raised to a let me take an example of here 8 2 by 3 so you can write it as 3 is the root part of the number and this is the square part of the number before that we know that for cube root of 3 so cube root of 3 so 8 is like 2 4 again 2 1 so it is nothing but 2 cube power 3 whole square so this 3 and 3 gets cancelled down and you can write it as 2 square which is nothing but 4 so these are the six laws of indices which you have to use while calculation with indices and standard form. I hope it's clear and on my next tutorial I will be covering upon extra exercise and solutions for the module indices and standard form. So that's all for today's video and see you on my next video.